Comfort Zone with Ray Comfort. Thought provoking. Informative. Engaging. Are you ready to be inspired and equipped? And now, The Comfort Zone with Ray Comfort. Tis a season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. We're singing Christmas songs all over the radio, no, but it's not, not even Thanksgiving. What's the deal with that, Ray? I don't know, but it raised my temperature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Always causing distress with just a voice, friends. Welcome to the Comfort Zone with Ray Comfort. I'm perplexed by that. Mark, are you? Why are people playing Christmas songs that's not even Thanksgiving? Okay, I've never seen this take place yet where they're playing Christmas songs around Halloween. <laughs> so it's not even Thanksgiving yet, and the radio stations are all filled with Christmas music. I can't stand it. I put on a station to try to listen to some worship music, and all I get is some fat Santa trying to bring presents. Now, whatever, I'm okay with fat Santa, whatever he's going to do, if he's going to bring the presents and all, but let's wait until after Thanksgiving. Speaking of fat, Ray, how are you doing? Uh, good, thanks, Mark. It's, uh, it's all to do with money. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. It's, Next year uh, it'll be like January 1st. It's to get us in the songs. Yeah. Well, friends, welcome to the Comfort Zone with Ray Comfort. We are extremely <clears throat> excited to have you with us today. We have the legendary Tadius Frielius who will be joining us <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> What's he doing in there? <laughs> Crying. Oh, if you can see what we can see, friends. Mm. But I am very, very, very sad to say, and this is something that we've been delaying the announcement of, but today is actually the absolute last <laughs> episode of the Comfort Zone. For, for the month year. of December. Yeah, for the month of December. <laughs> for the year 2014. <clears throat> Friends, there's a lot going on with Audacity and everything we're doing. So we will be back, but we'll have encore episodes that will be running for those of you that watch us. Uh, live, and you can continue to fellowship and interact in the chat. Well, I say we just love doing this. It's not as if we're we're laying it down uh, willingly. We really enjoy it. We right. just got so much on with audacity and other things. So um, yeah. So, yeah, so pray yeah. for us, and uh, we will be back at the beginning of the year. All right, friends. As I mentioned, we have with us the legendary one, who is getting ready to eat tofurkey this Thanksgiving with tofurkey. organic <laughs> stuffing, and with some kind of weird cranberry sauce that is glazed with Purell. Welcome, <laughs> the legendary Tadius Frielius. I like just staring. Oh, he's been touched. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done singing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was about. That was oh, boy. Beach. You know, I, I just try to serve the brethren, Todd, with love yeah, and kindness. Okay. I, I could think of a lovely way to serve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Silent night. Silent I'm night. So glad, you know what? I people who can sing really great. I am. I'm truly glad that God did not give me that gift because if He did, my pride. I would be singing this interview right now. I would be the biggest. I would be that guy in church. You know the oh, guy yeah. who's not in the worship team who holds the notes longer than everybody else. So we all go. <laughs> that would be me. Oh. How great I am, right? Bonnie Fife. Oh, boy. Well, Todd, it is good to have you with us, my friend. And we're excited to talk about the newest and latest project you've got going on. We'll kick it off with Ray Comfort asking you a question. Yeah, uh, Todd, i got to say, I, I love the graphics. A fish hook is just such a great thing to do <laughs> with fishes of men. Exactly. Yeah, and I think it's wonderful. And you can also use it as a, a question mark, can't you, Mark? Um, yeah, what's this about, Todd? Mm -hmm. Fill us in. This is a gospel DVD. Uh, we put one together a number of years ago, and we just made it because we wanted something that people could give away, because evangelism can be scary, and this is a good entry level to just be able to give this to somebody and run, to go through a drive through they give you your burritos, and then you just give them this, and you hit the pedal and get out of there. And so we wanted to just put together a gospel DVD, and we did, and the next thing you know, hundreds of thousands of copies have been given away. So. We updated it, and now we've updated it again based on the feedback of people. This one is a little shorter. It's 28 minutes long, huh. and it has a different tone to it than our other gospel messages. And you two are in it, and I think you nailed it. You two the is tone. in it. They're a great group. You two is in it, not you two. No, are. you guys, Ray and Easy are both in it. And 
I think I think you found the sweet spot for where we're at 2014. You know, we're so postmodern, we're so politically correct, we're so sensitive, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And yet, our God is a consuming fire, and he's appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. And I fear that that even those of us who are considered more stern when it comes to evangelism have, have gotten a little bit on the soft side. And this DVD, while not being like, ah, you're going to hell, Turner Burke, it's not that. It's loving, it's gentle, and yet it is also a stern reminder that Judgment Day is coming. And honestly, you guys nailed it spot on. Wow. Thank you, Todd. You know, it was really an honor to be a part of it. And having Vody Bauckham in there as well, mm -hmm. I mean, wow. You know, uh, the guy is just uh, so... He's just so gifted and he's no nonsense. You know, you can't mess around when, when Vody is speaking truth, but yet right. you see, you also see that, that tender, compassionate side of him as he's pleading with people with the gospel. So uh, what, what a blessing, we're excited about it. We're gonna get deeper into discussing it, but first let's go ahead and watch this video. Hello, my name is Todd Friel. Welcome to uh, The Biggest Question, Why? Why does the world run the way it does? Why do we communicate? Why do we enjoy the company of others? Why do we live in families? Why do we work? Why do we enjoy art? Why do we have government bosses and parents? Why do we have laws, courts, and jails? Why does the world operate the way it does? Why do we exist? Love it. Hey, Todd. 10, 20 years ago, we had all kinds of apologetic resources that have hit the market that people try to memorize evidence that demands a verdict, things like that. But there was not a lot of evangelism material. Now, in our day and age, it seems like a lot of people are trying to put evangelistic material into our hands to equip us. But I, I look at this DVD, so this is 28 minutes long. Why do I need this DVD in my arsenal to equip me to reach the lost? Is it not something like that? But why do I want this period when there's so much now out there? Or do you disagree with that? Is there not a lot of stuff out there? Well, you, you raised the subject of, of really of apologetics and presuppositionalism. I, you know, I'm a big fan of apologetics. I think it has its place. But I just happen to think that the Bible is a two-edged sword. And rather than constantly defending it and protecting it, I say we just unleash it. And this is, this, this gospel presentation is very classically pre-sup in that we never bring up does God exist we're gonna to try to prove it to you what about the Bible are there different errors and mistakes we assume from the get-go God exists he is going to judge you and you better get ready and so it, it just assumes that God is your creator and maker and so it's classically pre-sup we get right to it and we spend 11 minutes out of 28, again, not being jerkish, like, ha, 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 God's going to get you. That's not what we do. But we lift up God, his highness, his holiness, his otherliness, and, and let people think about that and ultimately, ultimately be afraid of that. And so it's good for people to ultimately fear God because that's the beginning of wisdom. So we spend 11 minutes laboring and doing that without ever debating the issue, just presenting it, and then we get to the good news. All right, so it, is this towards the believer or the non-believer? Who, who wants this? Is this something that I'm going to get a bunch of my Christians together, we're going to hit the universities and hand these out to them, or is this something that's going to teach me to do what you're saying? Fill, fill in the yeah, it, you, you know, you'll, 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 look, this is, this has got Ray Comfort fingerprints all over it because, well, Ray Comfort's fingerprints are all over it and he's <laughs> in it. So you're going to see the law being opened up 
you're going to hear the Ten Commandments being applied to the sinner's heart. So this really, this is an evangelistic DVD. Now, if Christians want to watch it with some other Christians that they are a little concerned about, <laughs> that would be fine too. But this is ultimately designed to give to the next door neighbor, to pass out at the university campus, to give to a coworker. Yeah, I, there's definitely an instructional element to it. Just by watching it, you can gain insight on how to, you know, hit the finer points of the gospel. Uh, but Todd, your your other uh, your original version, you guys sold hundreds of thousands of it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It kind of you know it. The great news is it surprised us in a good way because a lot of people give them out. It's good to give away for Christmas. This yeah. is by the way. Who of us doesn't have relatives? Quite honestly, you'd rather not spend Christmas with. So here's what you do. You give them this this year at Christmas, and you won't see them next year. <laughs> or ever again, maybe. Yeah. Todd, I love the fact that you exalt Christ, exalt the gospel. I was just Amen. thinking that the uh, people who perished in the Titanic disaster perished wearing life jackets. They didn't drown. They froze to death in, in, in the waters. And, and the ones that were saved were lifted out of the waters, and that's what the gospel does. Jesus lifts us out of our sins. He shall save his people from their sins. Uh, I just thought I'd share that little. Did he? Uh, let's let's my, look. My, my, can I tell you what might be my favorite quote? And there are many. Seriously, uh, I, you guys didn't prepare any clips with you in it, did you? I don't think so. We yeah, don't, we don't I, know. Right. Okay. So <laughs> there, are, there are just a bunch of great things that you guys say. But maybe my favorite is Ray Comfort saying, "With all this, with all this talk about hell and judgment, you might think that we're trying to scare you." Ray, you're we Chinese. Are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. My favorite. <laughs> we are. I love it. All yeah. right, let's check out this next clip. One of the most compelling photographs I've ever seen was a photograph of a soldier in full battle dress with his weapon carrying a child. He was obviously running with the child to safety. You can ask the question, is that soldier nice? Of course he was nice, but you could tell by his uniform that that's not all he was. Is God nice? Certainly he is, but that's not all he is. Our God is a righteous king. Our God is a warrior who deals with sin. We know this inherently. That's why one of the first things we learn to say is that's not fair because we believe that things need to be set right. It's not nice for things to go unsettled, for crime to go unpunished, and for sin to go undealt with. Is God nice? Certainly he is. But he's a lot more than that. Boy, if there's anyone on earth I would never want to be rebuked by, it's Fodi Bakum. He just has, he's got this presence, you know, but he really heralds the word. I, I just did I it. That did I, guys, I saw him at a homeschool convention once, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, he's, he's, he's like, he's into like judo and stuff and he does competitions. Oh, really? And his hands are like the size of a rack of beef hanging in a butcher <laughs> shop. And he saw me and I'm sure that he meant it in kind of a guy sort of like a, like kind of a, an affectionate love tap. He, he kind of hit me on the side of the face. I <laughs> He rang my bell so hard. The rest of the conversation, I'm going, Vidi, Fatty Booty, <laughs> Papi. <laughs> Todd, lift your hands up again. Your hands don't exactly look like Yeah, look who's talking, feet. Free Elias. Okay, big, okay, but look, see this? Yeah. Bodie's hands are this wide. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Todd. Um, I have a question. You know, obviously, we live in, a, in, in an insanely relativistic age, and Vody's hitting home that God has absolute moral standards. You hit the streets. You're out there everywhere proclaiming the gospel. How do you, how do you personally deal with that when people bring up their idea that uh, morals are relative? He didn't like the question. He's leaving. What do you know, I'm looking, I'm looking for my wallet. I, uh, I just opened it up. I have a picture of Vody Balcom, and I say, <laughs> he says so. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, you just, Mark. <laughs> you know, you, 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 okay, here's, here's some of the things that you can do in a playful sort of way. Okay, so you're telling me that morals are relativistic. Terrific. I'm going to take your wallet. You, you know, you grab for their computer. Right. Hey, it's all relative. Right. And all of a sudden, 
their reality kicks into gear and their worldview gets replaced by reality and you expose that what you espouse isn't the way that you actually live. And so even so, guys, with that, you can get into that debate back and forth and you can get up somebody's nose really fast. You know, you can't even understand morals unless God exists. Okay, that's all cool. But ultimately, I just want to use the law. I want to get to the commandments and let the Holy Spirit work with the with the word itself Amen. to convict the person of sin, righteousness, and judgment. I'm not looking to win a worldview debate. I'm looking to change their heart and mind. Yeah, that's right. I'm glad this isn't being uh, translated into other languages. How would you translate, you can get up people's nose? <laughs> yeah. Getting Z up people's <laughs> nose and Z's. <laughs> You know, Todd, typically when people think of uh, you, they think of Wretched, and when they think of Wretched, they think of the TV program that you do, but obviously you do so much more than that. When you think of Wretched, you also think of the radio show that you do every day, Monday through Friday. Tell us about that, because I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that I bump into that are not even familiar that you do a radio program. Tell us about it. Oh, you mean we're just a drop in the bucket? Small I'm, branch. I'm just shocked. Yeah, we do. We do two hours of radio every day. And, and guys, if, if I could, um, there's another TV show that we're working on. Do you see what these can you see this? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 These these are blobs of tissue. Um, these are these are human beings, seven, eight, nine and ten weeks old. Can I don't know how well you can see that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. wow. But, you know, so we are we're doing a pro-life show also. Uh, the first quarter of next year. You guys are busy working on Audacity. We're working on a life show, 13 episodes, that has the gospel that explains reasonably why this is a human being and not just something like a skin tag that you can have removed. Right. And so we want this to be aired in millions of homes. And so we're trying to, we're trying to right now, raise the funding for the life TV show that we're working on. So we're working on another TV show. We're doing two hours of radio. We're creating evangelistic products, mostly because we're really about the same thing that you guys are about. We're about right. preaching the gospel. Amen. Todd, where can people help contribute toward uh, the new series you're doing? Yeah, Todd, T-O-D-D, -D, <laughs> real, F-R-I-E-L. <laughs> Just go to our website, wretchedradio.com. You'll see the, 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 the Life logo up, and that's, and, and we're just, we're just, we want to create a TV show so that people can be confronted by this wicked sin, but also offered hope. You know, so many yeah. born again, proclaiming born again women have had abortions, and some of them don't even realize, even if they are now born again, they don't realize that God will forgive them even for abortion. So we want the gospel to be front and center and loud and clear too. So Amen. that's 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 what we're endeavoring to do. That's awesome. So, Todd, appreciate you being with us. Uh, people can get this with a graphic of the shepherd's crook on the front. <laughs> yeah. At livingwaters.com. It's also a roadway to turn around and repentance. Wow. Um, You're getting creative today, right? Or at wretched.tv. Is that correct, Todd? Sure. That, that'll do. And you guys, I appreciate the plugs, but you try to watch this if you can. I'm telling you, Ray and Easy just bing out of the park. It was the bomb diggity, guys. Wow. Thank you, Todd. Thank we you better, so much. We better watch it. Bomb diggity. I like that. <laughs> we gotta bleep that out. You guys, just it was. I'm telling you, the tone. It was firm and loving, and I think it's just the way that it needs to be in our postmodern culture. You just nailed it. So thank you for your contribution to Amen. it. Thank, thank you, you so much, Todd. Great having you with us, brother. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I will connect you with that. you soon. All right. Tofurky. Tofurky. Really? <laughs> God bless. That. Sing him out, easy. Sing him oh, out. Oh boy, I don't want to kill the <laughs> <a> guy. <laughs> Well, friends, again, as Ray said, livingwaters.com. We have it now in stock, so get it and give it out. Uh, we have rel uh, relevantly, re relevantly, re <laughs> relevantly, really reasonable prices, and you get it there. All right, friends, time now for the Comfort Zone Bible Trivia. This is for those of you who watch us live Monday through Friday, 11, 30 a.m. Pacific at tcclive.com, where we will not be for a while, at least through the month of December. But you're with us today, so get your typing fingers ready. The seventh person to answer correctly wins. Here we go. What punishment was given to Gehazi for his greed? All right. Uh, are we going to get this in time? Yeah, we'll be back after this. <laughs> Let's see. 
Look at this. People love Amazing Grace. It makes them smile. So why not do what these people did in Budapest, Hungary, but take it a little further into what Amazing Grace is all about, the gospel of everlasting life. Here's what to do. You form a team, go to a mall, get on buses or trains, go to stations and parks, convalescent homes, or even go door to door, carol singing, but singing Amazing Grace. We've printed high quality gospel tracks that contain $100 on one side and the lyrics on the other side so that people can join in your singing group. If you do this in a mall, make sure all the singers spread out in the crowd beforehand and then slowly come together as you sing. Don't all wear the same clothing so that no one will know whether you're part of the singing group or just an onlooker who's joining in. That way those Grinch security guards won't know who to tell to stop singing. Take copies of the track and have them passed out to others so they can sing along. And of course, this gets the gospel into their hands in a form that they won't want to throw away. At the end of the song, have someone with a good clear voice read the gospel message out loud. Or even better, have them read it out loud as the last three verses of the song are sung with a little less volume, of course, so that his voice can be heard. This isn't difficult. You can do this. Be an organizer. Pull together a group, do some singing, give out some tracks, and then go out for pizza. And then thank God that you had the honor of sharing his gospel with a dying world. And the answer is he was made leprous. Leprosy came his way. We're going to announce the winner inside the chat room. And as the winner, you need to send us an email. Our email is email at tcclive.com. In the subject heading, write, I'm the winner. And in the body, give us your address. And what is it that you win? You get to win a stack of these. Now, this is, I, I didn't even know we carried this until just now. But the cardstock on this and the gloss on it, listen to that. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. We have a whole stack of them. And also, I'm going to throw in the, uh, the Biggest Question DVD yeah. that you've yet to see. So, good job. Congratulations. Yeah. Easy, you should go to a mall and sing Amazing Grace and watch tears come to people's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that See what I got good. there, friends? Uh -huh. um, boy, that was, that was fun with Todd. I love that guy. Yeah. I, I have no idea how he does two hours of radio plus a TV show every I day. could probably do two hours of radio, then I'm exhausted. I've got no material left. I've he done does it him. every day. I know. He's, the guy's brilliant. Crazy. All right, friends, there you have it. Again, you can get the biggest question, livingwaters.com. Remember, this is a tool that you can give to people that has the full gospel in it from beginning to end. And if you loved what you just saw with Amazing Grace, you can also get those here through Living Waters. Right, Alan? We carry these. Yes. And uh, you, can, you can do that. You know, Christmas caroling and whatnot and sing Amazing Grace, give them out. They got the gospel on them. People will take them. Or get impacted. you could go to your local university, stand on a soapbox, and just preach the gospel. You say, I can't do that. Well, you can do the Amazing Grace thing. That's much easier. Just yeah. go to a mall, go with a group, sing Amazing Grace, and give out those tracks. And if someone has courage, just read the message off the back and then leave. I'm waiting for those, one of those machines where you just attach it to your mouth, and no matter how horribly you sing, you sound like a star. Might be really? cool. Yeah. Like a miracle. <laughs> For me, it probably wouldn't work for me. <laughs> probably break. Actually, he's using far better than I do. Oh, Seriously. That's true. You've got a good voice. All right, friends, on to a testimony. <laughs> this is an email from Curtis. I'd love to tell you about my mission trip to Honduras. Hundreds of kids attended VBS. Bibles were given to families that had none. Over 60 families heard the gospel using what I've learned from you, Sobe, Way the Master, the, on the box, and now the comfort zone over the years. Most of those families had never, ever heard the gospel before. Oh, and Living Waters gospel tracts were given out all along the way. God bless you and your ministry, and thank you. Boy, thank you, Curtis. Uh, we, have no, uh, we, we can't even express in words, Curtis, how much that blesses us to hear yeah. that uh, you took the gospel to another country. It reminds me of, of Guatemala and what's happening there. And, yes. Um, you know, we're going to be going there again to, to give the word to 5,000 pastors uh, in, in that Spanish-speaking country so that they can equip their people and train them. That's next August. Yeah, next Praise August. We're very excited. We're excited. Ray and Miguel and myself will be out there. Direct, and by the way, direct flights. Yeah, for those of you that, that are surrounded by folks that are Spanish-speaking or, or do missions trips to Spanish-speaking countries, we have aguasvivientes.com, so make sure to check that out and to, um, to connect with that. Uh, what are you telling me, Alan? <laughs> Let's just be real here. Use three minutes. Oh, yeah, got it, got it. Okay, friends, so here we go. Um, Ray. 
Here we go. This Where? is an email from Aaron. <laughs> Hello, brothers. I was wondering if y'all have ever sinned after accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior. I say y'all because I'm from Dallas, Texas. Ray, have you ever committed a sin? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, but people do have that legitimate question. Uh, you know, if someone becomes a Christian, do you ever sin again? Mark. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you say you have no sin, then the truth is not in you. In fact, you're deceived if you think that you do not sin once you become a Christian. Uh, Christians are perfectly forgiven perfectly forgiven in the eyes of Christ, and the righteousness of Christ is now imputed on to us. We will continue to struggle with sin. The old man is dead, but I know where he is buried. So I will sin, but I have an advocate. He stands in the gap for me. And then I go to him and I say, what was I thinking? I, I, I messed up. He cleanses me as soon as I confess that and back on that straight and narrow path. So we will sin until that day we physically die but we have an advocate who stands in the gap yeah i love that Absolutely. that verbiage there advocate the word means one who comes alongside to help and uh, remember christ paid the highest price ever paid for anything bought or soul sold to secure our souls and to give us the gift of forgiveness <clears throat> in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins an advocate is the counsel for our offense it's like having a lawyer stand with you and do all the talking for you yeah. Amen. Wow. Rap, Ray. Right? Well, rap. friends, we are done for the year. Again, oh. we will be back the first week of January, Lord willing. So that with a tear in your eye. For those Come of on. you that watch live, <laughs> you can still get reruns. So, oh, boy, now they don't ever that. want us to come back. But remember, friends, to check us out everywhere and in all places. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. And God bless. Yeah. <laughs> for questions about the Comfort Zone with Ray Comfort or to submit questions for future shows, please email us at email at tczlive.com. That's email at tczlive.com. The Comfort Zone is an outreach of living waters. For more resources to inspire and equip you to fulfill the Great Commission, check out livingwaters.com or call toll-free 1-800-437-1893. Now go and preach the gospel.